Hello and welcome and today I will show you how to make like wonderful dices like these ones I have right here. So huh, let's get into this first one. Let's create a wonderful new document. Delete your cube, add a cube. Go into edit mode and subdivide it. Select the whole cube except one and delete the faces. Add a mirror and make it X, Y and Z. Add a bevel and add another bevel. The first one, we're going to change the first one to vertice to width and weight. Go into edit mode on Select the point, press N and set the bevel weight to 1. Let's make it more segments and make it so that we have a little match in the middle. Set a, set, set a second to width and make it a little bit smoother. Make everything smooth and, and apply the bevels. Go into edit mode and delete everything here. Now we're going to fill in everything. So it looks like this one. We're going to repeat this, of course, on the other sides as well. But there we go. Now let's make an inset and merge them in the middle. Make some loop cuts and merge them in the middle. Dissolve this one and dissolve this one. We also don't need these. And now merge at the center again and now we have a nice and smooth edge. Not really smooth but um, you, can, you can fix that with a wonderful subdivision. So we're gonna add a wonderful subdivision. There we go, this is looking way better. Let's select these three and Delete them. So we have this wonderful whole shape thing. Let's add a plane. We're going to rotate it a little bit and we're going to push it to the edge. We're going to copy this one and do it on the other side as well. There we go. Now select these two, copy and paste them, rotate them once and again. So we have now a wonderful cube. Let's select the whole thing and set it to individual origin. Now we're going to scale them down and now it's like all the same. Now we're going to subdivide them five each. In hindsight, I probably should have done that first and copied them then, but well, just a second. There we go. Perfect. Let's join them with Control J and add a wonderful subdivision. Perfect. Now we're going to apply the mirror here and now we're going to join these together as well. So we're going to select this point, this one, and these, we're gonna wonderfully press F, and now we have a thing there. And we're gonna continue that until it thing is full. Perfect. Look at that. It's looking perfect. But probably it will not look everywhere the same, because uh, I'm very bad at turning faces, so the face orientation, as you can see, is not correct on everything, meaning it will create problems. Therefore, let's create everything. We're gonna want to fully press Alt N and we're gonna relocate them on the outside. There we go. Now we the our outside is the outside. And now we can continue to fill everything up like in the first one. There we go. Now we have a cube. Now we're gonna make the wonderful holes. So we have one. I personally have no clue where which number should be, so figure that out by yourself. I'm just gonna do some random stuff. The number two, the number three, four, five, and six. These are the numbers, but I subdivided a little bit too much, so we're gonna wonderfully merge them. I'll wonderfully use my digital uh, keyboard because my F key is broken, as you probably have seen. So we're gonna wonderfully merge them, uh, the one we want to have, so we have, uh, you know, can see it a little better. And as long as it makes stuff a little bit easier. So yeah, I definitely have to get a new uh, keyboard. So we're gonna wonderfully do that. The magic of editing, it's already done. So there we go, we have now wonderful numbers. But look at that, we're gonna make an inset with I and press I once again, so it's uh, same. Now we're gonna wonderful press, uh, go to loop tools and make it a wonderful circle. We're gonna scale it down so it fits in that thingy. Then we're gonna press E and we're gonna wonderfully go in and uh, we're gonna make this one smooth and look at that we have a wonderful cube there we go and we have now a dice let's give it some texture one of the bird is you know standing in front of our webcam that's perfect so let's give it a new texture we're gonna create one for everything and then the second one because of course our wonderful thingies are black let's go ahead and second one i'm gonna make you black and you're gonna select the inner part and the outer part and we're gonna make it black Repeat that for, well, everything else. And there we go. In the dice material, we're gonna make a subsurface because they always have a little tint to them. So make it a little bit brownish. Now we, of course, a little bit shiny, so let's give it a little bit less roughness. There we go. And maybe specular a little bit up. 
and well done is your wonderful cube now of course you can add some backgrounds some lighting and everything we did uh everything i did in the wonderful uh my test file so we have now here a wonderful background and everything you know hdr and everything um which of course makes it a bit better but i hope you like this one and i see you next time